Yo, Wagwan, we're back with another video for your head tops. And today we've got some new Uta gameplay to cover. Yes, you heard it right. Man like Uta. There's also some new scans which show some new unique character joint attacks and also some character customizations. You lot are going to be blown away by this clip. And this new map might just be my favorite from the gameplay that we see today. We are close to the release of the game and also close to 7,000 subscribers. So make sure you press off that Ross Clark subscribe button because if we hit 7k before curse clash releases then i'll be giving away a copy of the game in my live stream and don't forget to hit that like button instead of tapping the notification bell make sure you check out the video at the end for more exclusive gameplay enough waffling let's get into the action all right so before we get into the new gameplay let's cover the scans from twitter these were provided by shonen games so shouts out to that donny to kick things off we're gonna get a two-page spread showing all the characters available in the base roster for jujitsu kaisen curse clash we don't have any any translations on this yet but from what i managed to pick up is basically just the final showcase of the game and its characters and what you can expect from the game in general we don't get anything new on this scan it's more just a final confirmation of things before the game releases on the next double page spread however we do get a lot of new information we see them highlighting certain characters in pairs if you can't read Japanese, it's basically just showcasing some of these unique joint attacks. We have Gojo and Nanami, which if you watch my Nanami or Gojo breakdown video, you would have already known about this. But we do get to see a closer look at Nanami without his jacket on. We also get a new screenshot of Gojo and Nanami looking like they're in their intro cutscene. We also get a look at Mahito and Jogo's unique joint attack. The real Gs who are subscribed would have already seen that I covered this in my Mahito breakdown video. Those who aren't subscribed and can continue watching just know that your mom's twerking in mahito's domain expansion for spare change we also see that gojo and sukuna will have a joint attack i need to see that asap bruv there's also one with yuji eso and kachizo too gojo and ghetto will have a unique joint attack but i wonder what this will be because i expected them to have one from the hidden inventory arc but this specifically looks like it's referencing the jjk zero movie so if anyone has any ideas as to what this could be then let me know in the comments down below we also also see gojo has an outfit which has his white blindfold from the movie too the scan also shows us toto and yuji's imaginary flashback outfits and also shows us nobara and yuji's black flash against the brothers the final scan highlighted on this page shows us maki and yuta which we got a sneak peek of in the yuta and ghetto trailer this scan doesn't show us all the available unique joint attacks as we know panda and inu maki have one as well as yuji and megumi so there'll still be a lot more for you to find out by playing the game when it releases i'm personally gonna be pissed off if inumaki and yuta don't have one because i need to see that team up now let's get into the character breakdown yuta akotsu is a close range attacker who mostly uses melee attacks with his sword to damage his opponents he also has the use of his curse rico which can be revealed in several ways we'll cover that a bit later on his curse technique is called special grade cursed apparition and his ability to use rika his passive ability is called rage yuta has a unique hud and also he's joined with sukuna for the most bar of cursed energy both of them have eight bars of cursed energy which is the most we've seen for any sorcerer or curse so far you has a meter on the left of his hud which i'm gonna call like the rika gauge or rika meter and that bar will be filled to the max when rika is summoned that bar will slowly drain over time when rika uses any of her moves or if you just stand there and do nothing you can see rika is active on you as hud because a rika icon will appear to signal that she is out Rika has a move that instantly teleports behind the opponent and sends them flying into the sky, which allows for you or his teammate to combo off of. All of Rika's attacks look like they do damage to the opponent too. Once Rika is out, she'll follow up and attack after Yuta engages with the opponent. Depending on what buttons Yuta uses depends on the move Rika does. Rika also has a counter move which looks absolutely nuts. It looks like she takes the hit that was meant for Yuta and in doing so, it takes a chunk of the meter from Rika's gauge on the left but also repels ghetto's attack and leaves you are unharmed the breader takes no damage this is an absolute madness bruv is you are just invincible when rika is out fighting with him i'll also add that none of you as moves are using cursed energy he's freely roaming around using moves that deal insane damage with no drawback what am i seeing here fam it looks like rika can be summoned when a teammate is down or if you takes a certain amount of damage there may also be some other ways to summon rika but we know for sure that 
Rika will appear once Yuta's emotions are heightened. We do get to see some map destruction where Yuta sends Ghetto flying through one of the walls into another tournament stage setting. This map looks cold, I can't even lie. It might end up being my favorite map. You'll notice throughout that clip that Yuta had another icon on his HUD, which is his curse imbuement. From what it looks like, this technique can be activated when Yuta has a certain level of cursed energy and a ring icon will appear on his HUD, signifying that his cursed energy is imbued into his sword, like what we see in the JJK Zero movie. Doing this technique means any attack Yuta does will deal damage to his opponent because he's using cursed energy. We haven't seen Yuta use his curse imbuement when he isn't in his rage mode without Rika, but I would assume when he uses this without the Rika buff, his cursed energy meter would start depleting the moment he activates the technique. Kind of similar to SO and Megumi when they activate their curse techniques. The amount of damage some of these moves with Rika could do plus having a teammate there to support you and back you up you is looking like he's gonna be strong for sure he's definitely gonna be a problem so all the gojo and sukuna mains out there better watch out if you made it this far into the video leave a comment down below with the ring emoji so i know you saw this secret message and let me know which of the joint attacks we covered today that you're most excited for remember to smash that like button and subscribe for the consistent uploads that i've been doing and help me get to that goal of 7,000 subscribers otherwise Inu Maki will be using cursed speech to call your mama hole and she'll be twerking in Mahito's domain expansion for some gibble. Curse Clash is less than two weeks away so make sure you watch this next video because it goes over some key in-game mechanics and you need to know about it before the game releases.